We have such jolly sights to show you. Annyeong Hasu and welcome to Awful Advent, a countdown of 13 holiday horror movies for the 13 days before Christmas. This year's theme is Scary Santas, and our eighth film brings us the final entry of the infamous Christmas slasher franchise. Yes, it's 1991 Silent Night, Deadly Night 5, The Toy Maker. A young boy witnesses his father get murdered by a booby-trapped present. He's then harried by the arrival of other anonymous gifts addressed to him and strangers appearing at his door. Silent Night, Deadly Night 5 is the final movie in the Silent Night, Deadly Night franchise in a loosely connected sequel to Silent Night, Deadly Night 4, which I covered last year. A few characters from that movie appear in this movie, meaning they share a continuity and universe. However, that's the only thing connecting this movie to the other films in the franchise. It doesn't even flash back to the death of Billy and Ricky's parents from the first movie like every other entry in this franchise did. I'm not doing the cutaway gag again. This movie didn't do it, so I don't have to. This movie follows Derek and his mother Sarah after a present addressed to Derek murders his father. Derek witnesses the death and is left mute afterwards, preventing him from telling his mother what happened or why he's so afraid of the Christmas gifts arriving on their porch. The source of the presents is a mystery. We have Joe, the owner of an old-fashioned toy store who makes his own toys, his son Pino, an awkward teenager regularly abused by his father, and a drifter who works as a mall Santa and is taking apart and rebuilding toys in his flophouse apartment. The movie gives us several toy-related deaths that range from inventive to expected to absurd, and there are some successful twists and red herrings, more than I expected from an early 90s straight-to-video genre pick. Just as with number 4, special effects master Screaming Mad George is in charge of the gruesome on-screen antics. He's very good at his job, so the effects are good, but they aren't as bizarre as what we were treated to in the previous installment. I don't have a whole lot to say about the movie. It's easily the best of the Silent Night, Deadly Night movies I've watched this year, but it achieves that feat merely by dint of almost being an actual movie. It's still not good, but it does have Clint Howard, who is always a delight to see. However, despite being set in December, it's not very Christmassy, it barely has a Santa in it, and it's not wild enough visually to serve as an interesting background movie at a party. If you wanted to get twisted on Nog with your friends and binge the whole franchise, that can be kind of fun. Otherwise, this is one you're fine skipping. 3 out of 5 threatening toys telegraphing terror. Tomorrow, another robotic Santa gone wrong. Until then, stay safe and stay spooky.